Welcome back, guys, to Persona 5 Royal. Well, last episode, the hot night of the 25th of August saw us reach the end of the Sun Confidant, with Yoshida figuring us out to be a phantom thief and his political campaign seeming to be gaining mass support. The 26th had the girls bring around swimsuits to try out with Utaba in our continued beach trip planning, before our night saw us work at Crossroads to obtain a request target. With the 27th flying by as we hung out with the guys and then Hifumi, the 28th saw LeBlanc visited by Akechi, who was surprised to see us as our holiday days continue to dwindle. Come out right now. I'm outside LeBlanc. Wait, it's already Sunday evening. I want to light fireworks. Can we? I bought some. I want to go buy juice. Can we? It's a nice trip for you to take. Ah, did you go by yourself? No, looks like you did go with Morgana. Mona on the way back, though. I'll go get Sojiro. I was worried, so I decided to follow her. She was able to buy everything on her own, though. If she can do that, she should be good to go. Plus, she did a great job dodging that ace detective. Sojiro, hurry, hurry! We're gonna have a firework festival! Oh, hold on, Futaba. I, I haven't even put on my cigarette yet. <laughs> Don't get the smoke on me! Super double move! Whee! Will you listen to... <coughs> hey, the cat doesn't like the smoke. Keep the flames away from him. Dang! I made a huge one! Sojiro, look! Look! <laughs> right. It's just be careful, okay? Memories of summer, huh? Okie dokie, I'm gonna do ten now! No, no! <laughs> Just move. <laughs> Get on the wall. Oh, does she think I'm some kind of toy? Alright, we're going to the beach tomorrow. I've been anticipating this for so long. we entrust entrusting care of Futaba to you, Wallace. Oh, okay. I'll be good on my own, you know. I only ask that you try not to get separated from each other in the crowd, okay? No worries. I've already made preparations for when that happens. That don't make me feel better. Make sure you keep an eye on her. It's tough enough going solo, let alone watching over someone else. Still, going to enjoy the beach. We can finally have a good time. Well, thankfully you're allowing me out. So the people we have today are Jihir and Iwai. Mm -hmm. Should we go Chehega, maybe? Well, we're going to go there anyway. Chehaya. Because we need to feed our plants. Oh. I tried numerous times, but the Empress card keeps appearing. Wait, wait. Last time I felt that you were having trouble with women, but I sense something different now. Anyway, please be careful. Well, then what would you like to do today? Uh, what the hell? She knows. <laughs> what shall we do? She knows and she doesn't know. <laughs> Alright, let's get kindness then. To feed my plant. Can I get what another boost as well for someone? Um, what shall we do? I don't know. Let's get an affinity reading with someone that I feel could probably... Ref I'm going to go with Sujiro. I was thinking of doing it with Hifumi because of the uh, mistake I made. Here we go. To make sure that that never happens again. Because I didn't look. I didn't pay attention. And hopefully we can bank this stuff, as in, we keep, it works towards wherever the next one is. Which is still, I don't know if it does or not. 
Okay, so... Where are we going now? The last Sunday of summer vacation has been sunny since morning and the temperature has gotten warmer. Air pressure continues to be high and it's expected that today's sunniness will continue tomorrow. Whoa. That's why we don't have to worry about the weather. I can't wait for tomorrow. Good weather tomorrow. We feed our plants. Hey, hey. We waited a whole day. Hopefully that is a really big bump. And I'm guessing that if I go to the loo now, we would be somewhat close. <sighs> TV customers, everyone's talking about the Phantom Thieves. I have to listen to that every day. He seems done with us. <laughs> so we are going to Cheheya again. <laughs> Wait, we, we can rank up, right? Good. Good. Oh. I was curious about you, so I read your fortune. I tried numerous times, but the Empress card keeps appearing. Yeah. We're doing a verification test. Um, do you remember what happened last time? That man, Chairman Fukurai, visited me. If you have some time, could you stick around and chat for a bit? I can. And then maybe I can get rid of Clotho. Or fuse Clotho away. Um. I can't believe I messed it up so bad. Okay, let's go somewhere else. Um. Hey, Chair, your money leaves feed plants. Hey, Chair, I'm back. <laughs> so I've been thinking a lot about our last meeting, and I wasn't completely honest with you. But I've decided I'm going to tell you everything about Fukurai-san, as well as the real reason why I decided to leave my village. I... I already told you about how it was a small traditional town tucked away in the mountains, right? Well, when I was young, I predicted a major earthquake. The villagers revered me a messenger of God. When I kept predicting disasters, they started blaming me for everything, till I was cursed. A monster. Swallowed myself away. People would still come by to throw stones for the windows, though. Mm. Things went on like that for some time, until one day, an angry mob came and burned the house down. That's why I decided to come to Tokyo after graduating high school. I wanted to change my fate. I didn't know anyone, but I needed money. So I took the first job I could find at a small nightclub. I found myself surrounded by dangerous people, that's when Fukurai-san approached me. Um. He's a psychic too, you know. He knew from a mere glance that I was a runaway who had just come from to Tokyo. Then once I told him why I decided to leave my village, he immediately invited me to join up with the ADP. So he read you then. That was when he gave me the moniker of the Maiden of Relief. He told me that I possessed the divine power to save others from misfortune. And I could become more than the monster people saw me as. I broke down the moment he said that. <laughs> Deep down, I knew all along that the Holy Stones didn't have any power. But I thought I might be able to save people, even though I was a monster. Or perhaps because I was a monster. So the truth is, I was only ever selling those Holy Stones for my own personal benefit. I'm a terrible person, huh? <laughs> You're not wrong about that. I mean, I don't think so. What? What? I thought you said you were supposed to hate me. I never thought you would overturn even that fate, Isolde San. I've made up my mind. You know what? I see how wrong I was. I'm not going to keep turning a blind eye to injustice. I'm going to expose the chairman's fraudulent activities and wake the other members up to the truth. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for listening to me today. If there's ever anything you need to talk about, I'd be glad to return the favor, Isolde San. That was a very easy choice. <laughs> Rank 7. Special Fate Reading is unlocked. All right. By getting your fate read, you can find out a confidant's future abilities. They will then be viewable from the confidant menu. Uh, How did I think about it, though? Just saying the Holy Stones are powerless won't convince people. The ADP holds what they call seminars for believers, but it's really just brainwashing. That's why everyone thinks they'll be unhappy without the Holy Stone. Honestly, I don't hold any sway there. Even though I'm the Maiden of Relief. Um, just who is the chairman? Let me think it over some more. We can talk further next time. Thank you. Well, thank you again for today. Sodasan, please hear me out. Now that I think about it, I barely knew anything about the chairman, nor the ADP in general, so I'm thinking of doing some research on the ADP first. 
I'm done turning a blind eye. So the maiden's taking action. I don't think that's going to be a good joke. <laughs> Concern? Or just a warning? Well, if we fail, we can always just pay you some money. <laughs> be careful. I'll be okay. You can trust me. I'm a little nervous, but I have to do this for the other members. I hope I'll find convincing information. Something to bring the others to their senses. Now on, I will see with my own two eyes, rather than through cryptic fortunes. I'll let you know if I find anything, so please, promise me that you'll come by again. Now I should be going. Wait, wasn't I at 60%? Have I gone up again? Like, 3% worth? Futaba will be in your care today. Make sure you don't let any dudes try to hit on her. <laughs> I'll fight them off. <laughs> I won't leave a side. Good. As long as you understand. I'll be counting on you. What if I did? <laughs> hey, can we go already? Are you sure you'll be alright? It's just a day trip. Don't underestimate me. Right. Uh, sorry. Guess I just have to let it go. Have fun, but be careful, you two. here. Are you okay, Futaba? I'm fine. You guys are here. It's almost lunchtime. No! The squid's staring at me! It's cooked, so don't worry. Would you even eat squid if I'm not around? Why don't we eat lunch, too? I'll go get some stuff for us, then. You're eating that even here? My staple food. This should be a familiar flavor. Yet how does it taste so good? What's up, Makoto? You ain't eating much. Uh, oh, um... Not feeling well or something? You just don't get it, do you, Ryuji? When a girl's in a swimsuit, she wants to look as slim as possible. Still, you're worrying too much. Did you make sure to eat breakfast? Mona lacks tact. So, what do we do now? Should we play some beach volleyball? Oh, sorry. Us girls already made plans to ride a banana boat. We could only rent a three-person one. Sorry. Wait, then what about us? Keep an eye on our stuff. <laughs> Hell no! Why you gotta treat us like that? We're celebrities making headlines. You should treat us better. I do think they're not bad in the metaverse, but in reality... Strange, isn't it? 
<sighs> they can steal treasures, but they don't seem like they can steal a girl's heart at all. But, Lady On, can we get to the banana boat already? Oh, sorry. We'll go now. We'll switch when we're done. Keep an eye on our stuff for us. You don't get how amazing we are. We risk our lives being Phantom Thieves. There's no way we're the same as other guys around here. Shouldn't we be having more good times in reality, too? <laughs> You're full of yourself, man. We're just normal guys. The celebrities are normal guys. Everyone, they're just all normal guys. Now, with money, you can... <laughs> I'm just gonna say I don't care. We're special, man. Don't you agree, Yusuke? Well, if you put it that way, you may be right. On and the others don't get it because they're always around us. Hey, how do we get Lady On to notice how amazing we are as phantom thieves? Well, you gotta steal, you know what? Swimsuits? <laughs> Treasure! <laughs> Obviously hearts. On made fun of us and all? Let's show her what we're really made of. I see. I just need to prove my skills in reality as well. Let's steal all the hearts with the skills we've honed as Phantom Thieves. I'm sure girls will be all over us considering the vibes we give off. Very well. Let's do this. Pulling off our work in reality doesn't sound bad. It's settled then. So, Mona, you're in charge of watching over our stuff, okay? Huh? All right, let's hurry up and go. Hey, what the hell? Get back here! Don't leave me behind! We're gonna be really good pickup people with. Legitimately terribly cornering people. What the crap, guys? Zero game? Weirdly prison bound. <sighs> I don't know. The ocean just looks kind of bland to me. <laughs> just give up. Come on, it ain't over yet. I'm going for a miracle comeback. Hmm. Did someone follow us here? Something tells me we're being watched. Really? Oh. You think one of those girls changed her mind? OMG, it's the golden boy himself! <gasps> and he's already got his own little entourage. <laughs> we really did teach him right, didn't we? You? Oh no. What are you guys doing here? Sometimes we just gotta get out of the city, forget the nightlife, breathe fresh air, enjoy some eye candy. We thought we lost our protege. Who would have guessed our vacay was actually the call of fate? Oh, what's with the look? Don't believe in fate? Or did you really not have fun last time? You gonna tell us you saw yourself in all that chiffon and felt nothing? Uh, I don't think I, I felt what you guys were hoping. Oh, honey, I get it. Everyone's nervous when they first start out. But trust me, you'll make their jaws drop. <laughs> just an hour at the vanity, three hours at the boutique, and we can just pick up where we left off last time. So, are you ready to steal some hearts? Uh, we gotta go. Sorry! Was it something I said? Oh, what a tragedy. Another starlet slips through our fingers. No, no more makeovers. <gasps> By the way, where's Yusuke? So this is where you two were. I've been searching for you. Uh, what are you doing with those lobsters? 
While you were busy with your interrogation, I found these beautiful specimens on sale. And so I decided to spend the last of my money on them. Man, they're real hopeless when it comes to cash. Wait, you were watching us? Why didn't you help? Apologies, but I was entranced. The moment I set eyes on this distinct shape, I was in love. I haven't had my very core shaken as vigorously as this since the first time On entered my gaze. Good for you. We're here with friends. Come on, don't lie to us, baby. How about you come for a nice cruise on our boat? There's going to be a party, too. Tons of celebrities and industry people will be coming along. Are you even listening to us? Sorry about the wait. Huh, so... We were serious about being here with friends. That's what we've been saying from the start. Don't you find it boring spending your time with kids like them? It's far more interesting than anything involving you two. What was that? Hey, let's just let the children have fun with fellow children. We'll be going now. <sighs> what creeps? Thanks for coming in like that. Those guys just wouldn't stop pestering us. What do you mean, they got lucky because Makoto would smack them one? <laughs> they got lucky. What do you mean? If things had gone bad, you would have just sent them to the hospital. Uh, <laughs> never mind. It's nothing. By the way, where are Futaba and Morgana? Ooh, are those lobsters? One in each hand! I was wondering about that myself. Are you going to make them into sashimi? Or perhaps roast them whole? Enough of your vile postulations. These are purely for the sake of visual appreciation. We did tons of stuff today. All in all, I guess coming to the beach was pretty worth it. should probably start heading home. Agreed. Let's pack up. Futaba seemed fine in the crowd, too. So it looks like she's overcome her last exercise. Hey, Futaba! We're going home! Stop standing around and help us! You know, all this time, I thought that it was my fault that my mom died. Uh-huh. It's because everyone said that I killed her. Everyone looked at me thinking I was a murderer. I ended up hating this world. That's why I shut myself in and covered my ears. I wished... I wished my mom would come back to life. Sometimes I'd wake up and think it was all a dream. But nothing had changed in the world. That's why I'd sleep again. I'd be a repeat of that. <sighs> I loved my mom. I wanted to become like her. How she'd work late into the night. How she'd wake up early and make me a boxed lunch every day. How she'd do her best to further her research. How she'd scold me for peeking at her notes. It was cognitive science, wasn't it? The cognitive world can become distorted through desires. If it becomes distorted, a person begins exhibiting problematic behavior in reality. That cognitive world disappears when you remove its core and further problematic actions stop. Isn't that about palaces? That's the metaverse! She knew about that? It made no sense back then. But now I understand, after it actually happened to me. All I thought about was my mom. I was trapped in a cognitive labyrinth. I couldn't get out of it. There was nothing I could do by myself. That's why you asked us to steal your heart? That's a huge jump in logic in so many ways. At first, I didn't believe the rumors about the Phantom Thieves, that they steal hearts. But I overheard you accidentally. I learned that you were near me. Overheard? Ah, oh, the bug. So why were you listening in on LeBlanc in the first place? I had to keep an eye on Sojiro, make sure he was actually working. Talk about an awful hobby. You talked about stealing hearts. When I heard that, I was so happy I jumped up and down. I thought, maybe the Phantom Thieves could cure my heart. You could have just told us from the start. 
You might have been wary of me if I asked out of nowhere. And besides, you could have been bad guys. That's why I cautiously got in contact with you. I checked many times to see how you'd react. Yes. You had us twisted around your little finger. But Futaba, you didn't talk to anyone besides Boss for a long time, right? You must have needed a lot of courage to contact the Phantom Thieves. There were two reasons for it. One was Mejed's taunt. The Phantom Thieves were so pitiful it frustrated me. I would have been in trouble if they got disbanded too. Indeed. You are our only hope. The other was what I heard through wiretapping LeBlanc. Sojiro was being blamed with lies, like abusing me. He was being threatened to spill everything about my mom. Talk about making shit up. <sighs> it made me sad, and it hurt. I thought, I have to save Sojiro. I gotta do something. So that's why. But the Phantom Thieves... I didn't think you guys would be taking such risks for me. I didn't think you'd worry about me so much. I'm sorry that I acted like I doubted you guys. Do you believe in us now? Yeah, I can tell. You aren't bad guys. That's why I have a request. Let me join your team. There's nothing to join. You're already one of us. I'll be honest. Changing people's hearts isn't my goal. I want to learn what happened to my mom. The reason why she was killed. Killed? It was written in her notes. Should the self in the cognitive world die, the self in the real world would lose consciousness. Is this about mental shutdowns? Then, the criminal that Kaneshiro mentioned... Yes. That could be the case. I don't like pursuing this line of thought. But perhaps your mother's shadow was... I don't know for sure. But right before my mom died, she didn't seem right. In what way? No matter how much I talked to her, she wouldn't answer back. And she didn't jump into the road, it was more like she collapsed and fell in. That's why I thought what was written in the notes was real, and looked into it. I read books, checked theses that were released online. I even snuck into the networks of various research labs to look at their classified data. That's why you're good at hacking. What kind of brain do you have? But I didn't figure anything out. My mom's research was nowhere to be found. She was killed by someone, and her research was treated like it never existed. I bet it's them. Those adults in the black suits who read the fake suicide note. I'll never forgive them. Futaba. If I stay with you guys, I think I can find out more about that world. Then eventually, it might even lead to those men in black. It's a super personal reason why I want to join you. Is that okay? Or would I just be dead weight? If anything, you're dependable. Ain't that right, Mona? Why are you looking at me? Are you trying to say I'm inadequate? Well, she was more useful than you, as a matter of fact. Hey, that's inexcusable! This is what our Phantom Thieves are like. <laughs> but I hope we get along, Futaba. Thanks. Let's leave those two be. Why don't we lose no time and decide on Futaba's codename? What's that? It's not cool if we called each other by our real names. Joker, Skull, Mona, Panther, Queen, and I'm Fox. In Futaba's case... Hacker wouldn't be right, would it? Mech? PC? No. Why don't we go literal and call her Goggles? Super lame. You've got no taste, kitty. <laughs> In your face. Do you have any good ideas for Futaba's codename? What about the one right in the middle there? That sounds pretty good. I'll curse you. What would you want it to be, Futaba? Hmm. Oracle. With my vision, I'll guide you all to victory. Sounds great. Tabo B. Oracle. But man, I never even dreamed that the rumored Phantom Thieves would be so close. Same goes to you, to think you'd be the daughter of a Metaverse researcher. Talk about a mysterious fate. Should we get going then? Yep, let's go home. Yes, the incident with Mejed seems to have been more effective than predicted. 
This should spur the Phantom Thieves' support even more now. I agree. There are effective ways to use the Phantom Thieves. Now would be the best time to dispose of unnecessary trash, whether they're connected to us or not. Wait, that's the plan? Hey. You're back. How'd it go with Futaba? How have you been keeping her company for the past few days? Thanks. We've been literally in front of you. Most of the time. Criminal uses the metaverse to carry out their crimes. This is no longer a matter we can ignore. Especially because they might be the one who killed Futaba's mum. To be honest, I had considered the idea that they might be behind only the rumored psychotic breakdowns. Now it appears as though this person is killing people as well. Technically, they're making people have mental shutdowns, which then cause them to die. That's what happens when you kill someone's shadow, yeah? Mm-hmm. We were worried about it back with Kamashida and Madarami, remember? Psychotic breakdowns and mental shutdowns would make sense if the same person was behind them. The news never talks about the victims dying, so people only know about the breakdowns. So this shit's seriously a case. That's for real. Whoever's doing it is some kind of assassin. I'm gonna beat the crap out of them. I would suggest we be more cautious going forward as well. We still don't know much, even about our metaverse nav. That is true. I wonder why that thing exists. <laughs> there was a man in my dream. A dream? Still have a sleep, dude. I wonder if that criminal is using the app too. Utaba, this seems like your area of expertise. Do you know anything about it? Nope, I'd never even heard of it before. I mean, it's not really even an app. It's more like a mysterious app-like thing. I see. It's okay, though. I might not know much about the nav, but I can still navigate you guys on the path to victory. I'll guide you to whatever criminal you're looking for. Meh, <laughs> you can rely on me. Awesome, dude. You're way more reliable than Mona. Damn it, Ryuji. You always find the worst possible things to say. Hey, Zolda, you live in Yongen, right? You know about the old movie theater there? Well, the old couple that runs it is apparently getting threatened by land speculators. They're trying to say the theater is in the way of some building they want to put up. We can't just let them force those people out, right? Let's tear that baby down! I feel bad for the. Right? That old couple is so afraid of the threats that they don't even want to open their theater. Anyway, our target is a guy named Yasuo Yochi. Let's drive him off and save that old couple. Mm, there might have been a change in mementos because of all the Medjet stuff. If you want to go, now would be the right time. Let's discuss with everyone at the hideout. Who's muscling in Yong and Yaya? Well, no. <laughs> That's what I say to that. Let me do some more stuff. Next up is news about the Flat of Thieves. The Melman's popularity is still going strong. Merchandise of them has been has even been produced, and sales have been very good due to their appeal. With their popularity still rising, this fan of thieves boom will continue for a while yet. Oh. They're calling it a fan of thief boom. So proud of us. Though it's true that now we've actually done the resolution, so now the next tier is open. We went in for four, four, and then two. So really, we should wait for at least six if we're going by the four thing. Or more. Alright, who do we have today? Ifumi, oh yeah. We just talked about it, but I know we just finished talking about it, but here's a photo I took today. Where's the guys? What's that in the background? But I'm in there too. It's not like you're having fun, Futaba. Anne's a pretty good camera woman. Is this what it it's like to feel photogenic? I'm not used to looking good in pictures. It certainly is a fine shot. I get you. Indeed, this picture has even captured all the architectural grandeur of my sandcastle. I'll take your word for it, man. Oh, was you. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's you. Are you wearing a... Why are you wearing a preserver when you're making the sandcastle? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to figure out. Anyway. 